Victor Bragg. He was born on November 9th of 1904. His family was quite intelligent and his father was a doctor and mother was a German from Saratov. Victor Hermann Brack was a fairly intelligent offspring of his parents, as evidenced by the fact that in 1928 he graduated from the Technical University in Munich. On December 1st of 1929 he became a member of the NSDEP. At one time he worked as a driver for Heinrich Himmler, thanks to which Brack's career grew extremely fast. As early as in 1932, Brack worked in the Munich center of the NSDEP, which became known as the Brown House. Victor Hermann Brack did not occupy the last position in the department, working as deputy chief of Adolf Hitler's and Philip Bowler's personal conciliary. After the Nazi election victory and Hitler's rise to power, he moved to Berlin, where his career took an even steeper turn. Having become a Sturmführer in 1932, Brack was promoted to Sturmgauptführer SS in 1933, then he became Sturmbannführer SS in 1935, Obersturmbannführer SS in 1936, and Standartenführer SS in 1937. In the end, already in 1940, Brack was an SS Oberführer. Brack became one of, in fact, the organizers and individuals who were responsible for the implementation of a series of programs to destroy the population. The first was the so-called T4 killing program. The main organizers of the program were professors Karl Brandt and Philip Bowler, but the latter delegated his responsibilities altogether to Brack, so in fact Brack was one of the leaders of T4. In the summer of 1939, Hitler personally ordered the preparation of a program of extermination of people with malformations and physical as well as mental disabilities. And as early as on September 1st of 1939, Hitler signed an order for a large-scale campaign of so-called mercy deaths. Destruction, or rather merciful euthanasia, was intended for people with mental illnesses, schizophrenia, various syndromes, and ETC as well as those with congenital physical abnormalities, heart defects, external deformities, and so on. By this order, professors Karl Brandt and Philip Bowler were put in charge of euthanasia, but, as mentioned above, the second in charge was actually Brack. Brack, together with other professors, created a special expert council and the so-called system of examinations, on the basis of which the decision on the further fate of the patient was made. It is documented that Brack was directly involved in euthanasia. Initially, the T4 program dealt only with children who, supposedly undergoing examinations at the clinic, died, which was reported to the parents. At the beginning, the program was implemented for children up to 3 years old, then up to 5 years old, eventually children and adolescents up to and including 17 years old were to be examined under this program. Those whose IQs seemed insufficient for the so-called experts were also doomed. By the way, as part of the program, more than 30 specialized children's centers operated in Nazi Germany, sending a total of more than 5,000 children and teenagers to their deaths. Here, incidentally, the term Brandt's operation appeared, which means the extermination of the sick by overdosing on medical drugs. The next stage of the program was to solve the problem of the mass extermination of the so-called human garbage, disabled adults, patients with incurable diseases, and so on. And from 1940, the mass extermination of disabled adults in the gas chambers of Brandenburg and Grafenegg was put on a conveyor belt, already without the mask of words such as merciful deaths. On April 3rd of 1940, Brack again announced that about 40% of the more than 300,000 mentally ill and mentally handicapped people were useless elements to society. However, despite the propaganda of the racial theory of superiority, a fermentation began among the common population of Nazi Germany, so the T4 program was stopped on August 24th of 1941. More than 70,000 sick and disabled people were killed during its existence. But the experience Bragg gained did not go unused. Even during the T4 operation, Bragg studied the properties of X-rays. As a result, on March 28th of 1941, Himmler was given the report on the experiment of X-ray castration, the author of which was Victor Bragg. The Nazi suggested using the invisibility property of X-rays to perform mass sterilizations. Here are some of Brack's insights from the report. 
among the tens of millions of Jews in Europe. I estimate that there are at least 2-3 million men and women capable of working. In view of the extraordinary difficulties posed by the labor question, I believe that these 2-3 million should be specially selected and preserved. However, this can only be done if they will be incapable of reproduction. Castration with x-rays is not only relatively cheap, but can be done on many thousands in the shortest possible time. I think it no longer matters at this time whether the people in question find out they have been castrated in a few weeks or months once they feel the effects. Himmler liked the idea so much that in July of 1942, Himmler gave permission to conduct experiments on sterilization in the Auschwitz concentration camp. Brack's valuable experience was also used in the Birkenau women's camp, where Dr. Hurst Schumann also began conducting X-ray sterilization experiments in the fall of 1942. And Brack himself and about a hundred other specialists who had become skilled at killing people during the T4 program became active in Operation Reinhard, the extermination of Polish Jews, gypsies and Soviet prisoners of war in Poland. Reinhard was carried out in the concentration camps of Treblinka, Sobibor and Belzec. The operation began in late 1941. The name Reinhardt was given in 1942 in honor of the murdered Reinhard Heydrich, the founding father and the chief ideologist and organizer of the project with the name Final Solution of the Jewish Question. The extermination of prisoners was carried out in the Belzec concentration camp from March to December of 1942, in the Sobibor concentration camp from May of 1942 till October of 1943, in the Treblinka concentration camp from July of 1942 till October of 1943. Also part of the Operation Reinhardt were the ore camps of Travniki, Bujin and Poniato, as well as Majdanek before formal conversion to concentration camp. The main principle of extermination was carbon monoxide poisoning. Cyclone B was used at Majdanek, and in the Travniki and Bujin camps, Nazis either simply shot the Jews or forced them to work themselves to death. After Operation Reinhardt was over, the camps at Treblinka, Belzec, Sobibor and Chelmno were completely dismantled and razed to the ground. The land was plowed and Polish peasants then settled there. According to the most conservative estimates, about 2 million Jewish, Roma and Soviet prisoners of war were exterminated during Operation Reinhardt. Already in August of 1942, Brack left Hitler's conciliary joining the SS Mountain Division, Prince Eugene, and in November of 1944, he returned again. After the end of war, Brack was sentenced to death by an American military tribunal on August 20th of 1947. The sentence was carried out on June 2nd of 1948 at Landsberg Prison. <laughs>